Hey guys, let's talk about tonight's episode of Scandal and oh my god, I'm still trying to make sense of what I just saw. I mean, we start the episode off with Liv running down this hallway looking like a crazy woman. She's got a gun in her hand. She's running frantically. Her hair looks like it hasn't been washed in weeks and she's running like crazy and I'm like, what is going on here? And then we go to the end scene of the last episode and that's when she's playing a bunch of these records that her father gave her she's dancing around her room jake comes over to see her and he wants to talk about her father and she's like i don't want to talk about my dad i just want to dance and i want to have fun and she's dancing around and they're they're kissing and they're making out she tells him that she wants um vermont with with fits and she wants the son with him and then she's like let's make love on the piano i've never done that before and he goes off into the room and boom, she gets grabbed. So we see this a couple different ways and we see it from her advantage point and then we see it from his point of view and it's crazy. So he comes out, he runs down the stairs, he gets outside, he's like half naked and he sees this car He, he and he goes running after it and then it cuts to her POV version and literally the guy grabs her from behind. Well, actually she turns around and she sees him come at her through the front door and then he grabs her and he takes her out the front door and into the neighbor's house. So the whole time Jake is running down the stairs thinking that they've gone down the stairs, he's in the other apartment with Olivia and they're holding her and they've got like all this surveillance footage up and he, they're watching him and it's like, hello from the last time I thought, um, um, Huck swept her place after the last time when Jake was running surveillance on her place. So I cannot believe that they got more security cameras in there and Olivia did not know. Crazy. So now we, we see these guys and they're like moving like a well-oiled machine. So they trick Jake into thinking that they've taken her out of the building. Then they basically um, kill the neighbor, poor woman. She thinks that they're, they're, it's all over with once they rip the tape off and then they take the masks off. And you know, once somebody takes the mask off and they reveal their face, then you're obviously a witness and you got to go. So they killed the lady and then they take Olivia out in, in uh, an ambulance, um, like on a stretcher, they put her in an ambulance and off she goes. And then I love the scene that, that happened in the ambulance when He's like, this is the this is the part where you ask for ransom or you ask like how much is it gonna cost to free me and you start to negotiate your release. And then she says, Look, the whole time I was in that room, you were only looking at one guy, and that's the guy that was holding you. You looked at him for every um reassurance, you looked at him for anything as to wh what to do. You couldn't do anything without his say so. So I'm not gonna waste my time trying to negotiate with you guys because you're nobodies. And I need to see that other guy because he's clearly the one that you're all afraid of. So then the guy, the main guy, the main hostage guy anyway, he um, says there's many things that you should be afraid of and he stabs her with a, with a little needle in the neck or one of the other guys does. And when she wakes up, she's in a cell and she's in a cell with some guy who's cowering in a corner. And from the second I saw him, I knew he was up to something. And darn it if I wasn't right. So he's in the corner and he's all like, huh, huh. he's all cowering and he's like, you know, I've been here for so long and you won't get out and there's no way you get to get out of here. And he's like, you know, revealing information to Olivia, but he's not really revealing information to her. He's trying to open up a bit. She's telling him, don't worry, I'm going to get you out of here. I'm Olivia Pope. And then she starts laughing because she's like, that really means nothing. But she's at least trying to tell him that I'm not going to give up and you shouldn't either. And then he tries to say that the last person that got the ransom money they killed so there's just no chance that we're gonna get out of here so of course you know she's scared because she doesn't even know why she's been taken and at one point he's like at first I was like is he scratching her back is he massaging her what is going on but he was looking for a tracking device in her because hello we all know that uh, Olivia comes from some crazy stock and um she says, you know, if, if there's a tracker in me, then somebody's going to find me. And she says, you know, I, she's like, I don't think it's my dad who put the tracker in me or whatever. And she's like, if he did, he's not going to come looking for me. And it's like, just the things that are coming out of her mouth just sound so ridiculous. But hello, we all know Command is her dad and Command is cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. So um, then, of course, this is when she reveals that 
if she's missing, then the president of the United States is doing everything he can to look for her. And of course, as soon as she reveals this information, I'm like, oh, this is not good. Because this is exactly what he wants to know. Because I'm thinking that this man is not for real. So once she gave up that piece of information, I was like, uh-oh, here we go. Um, so then she's, you know, they keep taking to the bathroom. And as she goes to the bathroom, she sees that there's a window and she tries to get out. And then... Um, they catch her, and as a punishment, they kill kill the guy that she's been um, in the room with. And, of course, she freaks out because this is her only friend. This is the only person that she's able to communicate with since she's been taken away. And um, they grab him, and they take him into another room, and then you hear two gunshots, and that's it. And then when the guy comes back over to talk to her, he's got blood splattered on his face. So, you know, we are obviously to assume that they've killed him, and now Olivia is there all on her own. Um, so, of course, later on in the episode, we see Olivia, you know, she's on the floor, and then we hear all this gunfire, and then it's dun-dun-dun-dun, Jake to the rescue, and he comes in with his SWAT team and his Air Force men, or no, 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 what do they call, what do you call those guys? Um... The SEALs team, right? And so they come in and they do the rescue and he scoops her up in his arms. He's like, don't worry, I got you. And he's all like, I'm, you know, I'll take care of you. And then, you know, next thing you know, she wakes up in this nice, plush, lovely bed and it's full of bright colors. And then she goes to take a shower and she's all like, oh, you better hurry up and get in here. And it's Fitz. And then the two of them start making out in the shower and I'm like, mm. And um, then... Obviously, she's now in Vermont in this home that he built for her and there's nothing but jam everywhere. She opens the fridge and there's like a dozen jam jars in the fridge. And then she turns over to the counter and there's like a dozen jam jars on the counter. And then there's, it was just like, okay, we get it. She's doing nothing but making jam for her man. And he's telling her like, oh, what he's going to do for the day and da 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 And this is obviously... A, a very awkward dream sequence and then um obviously um we know that this is not for real and um red shows up and abby and um she's basically like look you didn't like is this the life you chose she's like look leave me alone i chose to be with with um with Fitz and we're here in Vermont and you know we're, I'm walking a dog and she's like really is this the life you chose you didn't choose him he quit the administration and you guys just ran away kind of thing and then she says where's Jake and she's like I don't know and you know she's basically trying to snap some sense into or slap some sense into Olivia and she looks down on the ground she's like you dropped something and then she looks down and it's like you can't really even make out what it is but you can tell it's something that that's important and then later on, when once she wakes up from this um, dream, um, you know, she's on the floor of the cell and, of course, she's still looking like a crazy woman. Um, and uh, she goes to the bathroom and she takes the other um, bra wire out of the wire out of her bra and to try to once again escape through the window. And when she gets into the bathroom... The, the, the window has now been sealed off and cemented off. So she just completely breaks down which I thought was a really great scene because it's one of those things where you're like okay I'm gonna do it I don't care what it takes I'm gonna get out of here and she musters up the courage to do it again and then when she gets in there her plan is foiled and she just breaks down she starts crying and she's trying to cover her mouth because she doesn't want them to hear she's like crying like over her hands covered over her mouth and she's crying into her her sleeve and it's just like it's heartbreaking because you're like you know you can see she's not giving up and she's trying to be the gladiator that she is and um it's just not gonna work so then she sits down and all of a sudden she sees that little screw thing that we were looking at before in her dream sequence and it was like a screw that was holding a pipe in place under the sink so she pulls it out she's she, when she gets out of the bathroom she smacks one of the guys that's been holding her captive a bunch of times over the head she steals his key she steals the gun she's running down the hallway like the same scene that we saw at the beginning of the episode and she's running all frantically and then she runs into the not the the main guy but the second to the main guy um who's been basically antagonizing her this entire time and he's like oh you you know you're not gonna pull the trigger you, you're hesitating you would have done it already and then he's like yeah you know this basically isn't for you you little girl this is this is a man's toy and then she just boom pulls the trigger pops from square into in the forehead and down he goes and she continues to run i don't know why she dropped the gun rookie move 
but she goes she drops the gun she goes running to the red door and she's you know using the the keys the all the keys that are on that chain and she she finally unlocks all three of the locks and when she gets through the door she runs into a room that has like a projection screen on and it's got like some street with cars and nothing it's basically nothing and then all of a sudden you hear this voice and she turns around and dun 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 who is it right it's dude that was in the cell with her and he's all cleaned up and he's in a nice little you know shirt and and, and dress pants and he's got like his little gun holster and he's like walking towards her and then he basically says yeah i played you and you gave me all the information that i needed um you know i wound you up and you gave me information that was important and now like they're just getting started on this journey and she's just standing there with her hair completely disheveled you've she's got like the projection screen um like whatever animation is going up behind her like streaming through her face and she's just like looks like a zombie <laughs> and he's like come on let's go and so he basically just walks her back into the room where she just fought to get out so what is this the beginning of? Dude, I have no idea. I mean, we all know that this has to go back to the, the surveillance footage that they had been running on her, which um, the daughter of, uh, was he a client's a husband? Um, her kid, remember like episodes ago where she was murdered and, and her, her, her friend was murdered and then the father, all this crazy stuff over this information about Olivia Pope. So it has to all be tied to that. And um, what, it, what we're going to find out from it, God only knows. Um, but I'm intrigued. That's a serious, uh, crazy episode to come back after like a month and a half away. So good job. Um, I was definitely on the edge of my seat going, what is happening right now? So all for all we know, Olivia's team is back in Washington trying to find her. And what happens next week? I mean, any is anyone's guess. I have no idea where this storyline is going. And I kind of like that. So, all right, guys, let me know what you thought of this week's episode. And um, yeah, see you next week. Bye.